Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog soccer. And with us is head coach Andy McCaslin. And coach, uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Appreciate you having me. We've talked about the success of the Ferris State football and volleyball teams, but uh, your team as well uh, on a win streak, five straight matches uh, that the Bulldogs have won. Uh, just talk about uh, the recent success here uh, for your team. Yeah, we're just trying to do our part. You know, uh, volleyball and football are crushing it, as, as well as golf and cross country. It's been great. Um, but yeah, you know, we're, we're being successful right now. We're on a little bit of a roll and it's, it's been a lot of fun. You've got four uh, shutouts uh, here in the last five matches. Uh, talk about uh, the play and what it's taken uh, to, to achieve uh, results both on the offensive and defensive side. Yeah, the, the main goal has been keeping the ball out of the net, you know, and uh, we, we truly believe that if, if we're able to do that, then the results are going to fall our way. And, you know, one goal in the last five games it, and kind of a, a goal that as a team we should have done better with and uh, but you know w the, the games are coming and it's it's been a lot of fun to, to be on this roll and uh, we got to keep it going and stay focused. Last week uh, you started the week against Aquinas with a special match uh, played at River Street Park uh, part of a school day with Riverview Elementary. Uh, talk about that event. Yeah that was uh, so much fun uh, to be down at River Street Park with Riverview School and um, you know we, we played a, a match at one o'clock which was pretty out of the ordinary for us and we had yeah, kindergarten through fourth graders there which was very out of the ordinary for us and it was just a tremendous day um, you know the they had a pep assembly for us in in front of the match and we did we you know introduced all the players and the, they were rock stars that day it was fun they were asking the kids were asking for autographs and the, the you know high fives and the, the students were were tremendous and you know some of the players got to go into the classrooms and, and read for a little bit or answer questions for the kids and it was such a fun day we were really happy to do it. You uh, came back then on Friday to open GLIAC play and uh, back at the Ferris State soccer field and as we go into the highlights of that match uh, get off to a quick start and uh, really jump on Tiffin early. Yeah uh, Tiffin they beat us last year so it was a game that we we really wanted to to do a good job with and to you know, to come out and set the tone early. Um, we, we wanted to make sure that we got the result that we wanted, uh, get some, get three points toward the conference race and, you know, really do a good job of, of controlling the game and imposing what we wanted to do uh, in it. So I, I thought that we did a pretty good job of that on, on Friday. Nicole Benke uh, gets a couple goals uh, here early in the first half and uh, certainly she's been playing well for you. She certainly has. Uh, five game winning goals in the last five games. Um, and six goals in that streak, so it's been it's been nice to um, get her back to form. You know, she she had a really good sophomore year and then was down a bit last year just with some. Um, she wasn't finding the net when when we say she was down, but um, yeah, Nicole scored a couple of great goals. Rachel here with a tremendous finish uh, from a set piece, and again that was that's been a focus of ours this year, set pieces as well, just to make sure that we're dangerous and committed to to doing some. Uh, some special things on set pieces. I know that uh, the one goal right there you'd like to have back, but uh, your team able to answer uh, here close to the end of the game with uh, Karen Nichols scoring her first goal. Yeah, she, she puts the game away for us, which is great. You know, she came in and she hasn't been playing a ton, but you know what, she went and she made her minutes count, which is awesome, and she goes and gets the goal. You get that victory on Friday and then a quick turnaround uh, for your team again uh, on Sunday back at home hosting Walsh University and uh, talk about what, what takes place over that, that time span uh, with, with about a day and a half of rest. Recovery. Um, it's, it's a lot of active recovery and just, you know, a light day for the kids with heavy minutes and the, the next day, um, you know, you just want everybody fresh and ready to go. It is a quick turnaround, but uh, we're used to the schedule. and. To be fair, we're in a, a very heavy schedule stretch right now with, I think, seven games in 14 days or something crazy like that. And it's it's been a lot of management of, of players and making sure that people are, are healthy and, and ready to go. But uh, Nicole Benke uh, here against Walsh uh, scores 10 minutes into the game. You get that early one to nothing lead, then you, you add a goal uh, in the 30th minute uh, to take a two to nothing lead. And, and from there, uh, we're able to hold off uh, Walsh. Yeah, you know, Walsh is a, a team that tied us last year. And a, a, again, this was a, a weekend that we wanted to go out and get full points, and uh, we were able to. You know, uh, Nicole scored the, a qu nice little goal um, with, a, with an assist and a good turn and finish. But um, the, and then Carly sealed it with her second one. And, but the defending has been so good just as a team. We've been committed to uh, staying together and compact and making it very difficult to get broken down. and. Um, it's been it's been fun to watch the development of that. You know, we've done a lot in terms of video and 
and just teaching. Uh, and it's been tough with the schedule because we have had so many games. It, it feels like we haven't been able to train as much as we'd like. But um, kids are picking up on things that we're asking them to do. And, you know, the team's in a great spot right now. The offense has been putting up the goals uh, that you've needed to, to win games, but uh, defensively, your goalkeeper, Matty Hostein, a senior uh, GLIAC Player of the Week last week. Talk about uh, the, the play she's uh, had over the last few games. Yeah, you know, uh, we've been we've been really happy with Maddie's performance. She's done a tremendous job. Um, she pushes herself every single day in training, wants to get better every single day, and she deserved that, the Goalkeeper of the Week honor. Uh, when we played Cal State last Sunday, um, she kept us in the game and was that was one of the the shutouts and one of the I think 19 saves she made during the week and she absolutely deserved that award. This week uh, the Bulldogs uh, with three matches uh, you play Concordia non-league action on Tuesday at home and then of course a uh, road trip to Ohio for more GLIAC matches against Malone and Finley. Uh, talk about the opponents this week. Yeah Concordia is it's a new team that we've we've never really seen we don't know much about them um, but again w our focus is is really the Friday Sunday matchup at Malone, who's now two and zero in the league, and Finley, who's uh, they're a good team. Uh, they came up and had some tough results on the weekend, but they're they're a team that we can't take lightly either. Um, it's a hard road trip just because it's to Canton and to, to Finley, and you know, getting on the road, being being in a hotel and all that stuff is it's just different. We we've only had one road trip so far, and um, but we'll be ready to go and focus on the weekend. How does it change uh, going on the road for these for these matches uh, in terms of the the, the play you have? Uh, you've certainly had some success at home. Uh, what does it take to carry that over onto the road? We just have to be committed to what we do. You know, uh, it's not necessarily changing anything. It's just being good at what we're doing, uh, making sure that we defend well and attack well as a group. And um, I, I think we're able to do that. I know we mentioned uh, Nicole Benke, Maddie Hostein, some seniors. You've got some other ones. Uh, Talk about their leadership and, and what they've meant uh, to the start so far. The whole group has been great. Um, last week we challenged them at, at halftime of the Cal State game. We were getting pounded um, with with shots, and Maddie was keeping us in. And we just talked about the senior leadership and how it needed to be better, um, how we needed to have some responsibility and some maturity. And since that since that halftime talk, I, I feel like we've really done a good job of, you know, making sure that we're um, committed to, to being together, and it, I think the streak is kind of a part of that. On the flip side, you've got some young kids that certainly are gaining more experience <laughs> and, and gaining more uh, confidence as the year goes on. Yeah, you know, the, the newcomers are doing a great job. Uh, everybody's chipping in while Carly's scoring some goals, and Olivia's getting time, Mandy, Catherine, they're, they're all doing a really good job of coming on and, and playing well. Um, we've got to make sure that they are ready for when these this large group of seniors graduates, and they're the next, they're the future. So we, we got to prepare them as well. Well, coach, congratulations again on the the five match win streak, and uh, best of luck uh, with three matches coming up this week. Appreciate it. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder: you can follow all the action online at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.